My name is Julia, and I don't think any of you would expect me to say this, but I love turning guys into girls. What I do is called feminization, and it's my hobby. I have a friend named Max, who recently confessed to me that he wants to become a crossdresser. Though he's very shy, gentle, and likes to submit, I knew he was the perfect candidate for my lessons. One day, Max came to me and asked me to help him become a real girl. He said he wanted to start the feminization process and take a course from me. I smiled and said I was ready to help him. I suggested he come to my apartment since it was equipped with all the necessary equipment. I spoke as if everything was simple, but in reality, I was very excited and worked up about this idea. Max agreed, and we scheduled a date for the next day. When he came to me, I immediately noticed that he looked incredibly feminine. He was modestly dressed, but his movements were light and gentle, as if he was already a real woman. I asked Max to take off his clothes, so I could better evaluate his body. He was nervous, but obediently did what I asked. I noticed that he had a cute figure and soft skin. I suggested he try on my pink lace lingerie to see what he would look like as a real girl. Max surprised me with his ability to imitate a woman. He stood before me in his underwear, transformed into a real beauty. I completed his outfit with a bay short dress with a small lace pattern, nude stockings, and a pink carter belt, high-heeled shoes. He looked stunning. Then we got to what I love to do most, the feminization process. I started showing Max how to walk properly in high heels, how to look feminine, and how speech and smile can change the impression he makes on others. I also told him about how to choose the right makeup and showed him how to apply makeup to both my face and his own. I made up Max brightly so that he looked like a beautiful girl, ready for her first date. While I was doing his makeup, he stood in front of the mirror, watching my every move. I noticed that his breathing became heavy, and I realized that he was already very excited. I smiled to myself, and continued with my procedure. After a few weeks of feminization lessons, Max was ready for the next stage of my plan. He became my maid in the apartment. I bought him a maid costume, made of a soft material, a mixture of nylon and polyester decorated with beautiful bows and lace. I asked Max to put it on in front of me. He put on the maid costume step by step, starting with stockings, then a short black skirt with white borders, a white lace apron, a white blouse, and a shiny black bow on his neck. I was very pleased with the result and complimented him. He looked very much like a beautiful, submissive girl. Max began cleaning the apartment and performing all tasks for me. He was an obedient maid, and I loved it when he wore these sensual outfits. Every time I entered the room, he would kneel before me and wait for my orders. I felt like a powerful and strong woman, and it was great. At the end of the month, Max was ready to take the final step of my plan. I asked him to dress in the outfit that I had prepared in advance. It was the only thing I hadn't told him about earlier. I asked him to wear a rope and he looked amazing in it. The rope was white, with long sleeves, and a long skirt to mid-thigh. I added high-heeled shoes, and pink gloves. When he was ready, he came up to me, and knelt down, and I felt his hands shaking. It was an amazing feeling of power. Max was overwhelmed with shyness, and a desire to follow me. Everything I did was to satisfy my desires, and Max was a real pleasure for me. In the end, he became a beautiful and pretty girl who carried out all my orders, but there are still many lessons in feminization ahead. Do you need lessons in feminization? Would you like to be my girl? Write about it in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss new videos. Now you can take my test for sissies and crossdressers. Go to my Instagram and write to me. I want the test. Do you want to be a girl? Then start with my sissy girls test. There are more than 100 questions. You can find it in my Patreon. Link in the description or write to me on Instagram.